It took so long to get that firewood. I thought you were growing the trees, Jody. Sorry, it's just that Fred wandered off somewhere. It would have to do with him. The lunch that I've made's gotten cold, so I'll have to heat it up all over again. I'm mighty hungry. I hope we're eating soon. You know what? I've been thinking lately that the wood seems a little different. It's the same woods it always was. Well, it feels different or something. And the same with the animals. That's because it's the end of winter. It's mating season. Uh, mating season? What season's that? It's the season when all the baby animals are born. <laughs> Every spring, the male and female mate so they can reproduce. Huh. Ah. Do you think Flag's gonna mate? No, Jody, Flag's too young. But you watch and see, pretty soon you'll be running across a whole new batch of baby animals all over these woods. But Flag was acting mighty strange today. I called him and he wouldn't even come. Ah. Flag, are you ever in a lot of trouble? What have you been doing hiding all morning? Ah. Well, I wonder whose little dog that could be. I don't think that's any dog. Hey, it's a fox. Flag found a baby fox. From the looks of it, I'd say it's a newborn. Stay there. Stay, don't move. Hold on. I'm just going to pick you up. He looks kind of hungry, don't you think? Would it be all right if I gave him a little bit of Flag's milk? We can't keep him, Jody. Yeah, I know that. All right, but you put him back in the wood just as soon as you're finished. <laughs> I bet you this little guy must have been on his own for quite a while now. Quite a way. You know what mating season is? Well, yeah, sure. Okay, then what is it? It's when animals make babies. After winter comes spring and then it's mating season. Hey, you know all about it. Everybody knows. So then, you think there's a mating season for people? Not that I've happened to hear about. <sighs> you think you might keep them? It's probably not a very good idea. Because if you ain't keeping him, then it's better you let him go. <clears throat> uh, otherwise, he might get too used to being here. Yeah, Ma told me the same thing. I came across a box stand somewhere around here last month. Hmm, at least I think it was somewhere around here. Maybe not, though. We'll try to remember. Well, let's just leave him here and see what happens. All right. I guess maybe we should just leave them. Of course, you know, the bears go through here. Or one of the mountain lions might come around. He's such a little thing. Even one of them flying squirrels or rats could get him. I guess we can't just leave him here then. <laughs> well, we can't take him back, so we have to do something with him. Don't get so upset. I know that. What do you think the chances are of finding his mother? Mm, not right, but... But what? Hmm. Hey, we'll put him in a box. We'll put him right inside a sturdy box. And that way none of the bigger animals can get to him. Then when his mother comes around, we open the box, let him out. Something like that's real easy to rig up. And it probably won't be long until his mother decides to come through here. Right, but we don't want to scare her away, so we should hide just a little bit further from the box. Right. Hey, how about over there? Yeah. 